After wrapping up a three-day trip to the United States and addressing the United Nations General Assembly, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is now in Canada for the first time since the Russian invasion began last year. During the visit, Zelensky addressed the Canadian Parliament and reiterated Kyiv's gratitude for Ottawa's support. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion, Canada has committed over $5.9 billion in aid to Ukraine. During the latest trip, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau pledged an additional $480 million of military aid for Ukraine. The multi-year aid will be used for procuring 50 armored vehicles and training on F-16 fighter jets. The funds will be used over a period of three years. Canadian trainers will also be sent to help Ukrainian pilots and maintenance workers to help them use F-16 fighter jets. Ottawa also expressed that it is placing 63 new sanctions on individuals and entities involved in Russia's nuclear sector. Canada's previous military assistance to Ukraine included Leopard 2 tanks, air defense and artillery systems, anti-tank weapons and drones. It also trained more than 36,000 Ukrainian soldiers. Ukraine and Canada have also agreed to set up a group of experts to provide advice to decision makers on the seizure and for feature of Russia's central bank assets. With a population of over 1.4 million Ukrainians, Canada is a home to the world's second largest Ukrainian diaspora population. Canadian lawmakers have voiced their concerns about the slowly fading assistance of U.S. majorly due to the frequent GOP obstructions. Prior to his Canada trip, Zelensky spoke to Joe Biden on weakening political support in the U.S., for his country's demands for more arms. This comes as Republican skepticism about funding the war is growing despite pleas from the Biden administration not to turn its back on Kyiv. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.